client who was desperate to win the lottery. Do you remember who I'm talking about? Yep. He was desperate to win the lottery. Yep. Uh, and I helped him. Super negative uh, about like certain things in his life. And the moment after we we helped him and talked to him, and then he changed started his winning. Mind. That day he started winning, and for yep. weeks he was winning and winning and winning and winning and winning. Yep. And then it and went then away when he got negative again. Yes. One day it all switched for him and he started uh, like he had a personal issue and it started downhill from there. And he then he started consistently losing over and over and over and over and over. Again. Sure. It's just so, it's just a simple fact. Right. If you want to create an abundance of wealth, the overall balance of your thoughts and feelings need to be of abundance and wealth. Yeah. You need to be grateful for the abundance of air or abundance of food. You need to be happy with your current situation or your skills and believe that you have an abundance of skills and an abundance of value that you're going to turn into more and more people are going to love it. You need to believe in buyers and audience and everybody. It's, it's a very abundant set of thoughts and feelings you need to exist if you're going to create that. It's just fine. Even miserable old misers or whatever generally have abundant thoughts and feelings ab- about wealth. Yeah, it's true. It's true. All right. Well, like for me personally, this was something just like our, our former client, the minute my my thoughts turned positive, things started to flow. I mean, I made a little bit of money. We got more views on, on our YouTube channel. Like every every time I just tweak this. And again, it wasn't my moves, thoughts, and choices about money. It was about everything. Yeah, because on the whole, the balance of your thoughts, moods, and choices need to be positive and abundant, like something you believe in, something you feel good about on the whole. It needs to be like 80% positive or something. I don't know. And that's why I always tell you, do what you love, do what makes you happy. And if you go against that, you're going to suffer. You're going to create lack. You will not create wealth with that kind of approach. It's like you don't cook food without heat. Like it's not... It's so simple and basic. 